Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Lee Gaming featuring Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Link. I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's video with regards to the Volcano Eruption. Personally, I think that is the best deck in this uh, Prima Burst main box. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you miss it, do check it out. I will leave a link at the top right corner at the end of this video. So remember to click click and take a look. I know a lot of people is upset with the new burn deck that was featured in the main box as well. <coughs> the uh, green monster with the bamboo that you can OTK people easily in turn 1. If you get the monster in turn 1, it's GG basically for everyone. Uh, a lot of my peers and my fam is asking me to feature it in my channel so I can get more viewers and stuff like that. But to be honest, I told them no, I'm not promoting any burn deck to my family. Uh, because I think let's just have fun to be fair to everyone rather than you know I know sometimes you need to do what you need to win whether you win it uh, in a very tough situation or win it as an easy kind of situation but I just want to have fun dueling so I will be promoting more fun decks destruction decks if you know my channel well you will definitely know what uh, my channel is all about so without further ado, let's move on to today's deck. I'm featuring Risking in the Dark World. So I have spent a lot of money in this box to be honest. I'm not joking. I think I spent roughly about $200 in this in this box. It's it's a it's a pain. I really regret it because um, I'm lacking the Dark World card, so that's why I've been pouring money just to show you guys the, the cards and the potential. And I'm I'm quite disappointed. So let's move on to the deck first. Without further ado, basically this deck is I have three of this UR card. It takes me a bit to get them. I have Dark World Lightning, the three UR card. This is uh, but I tried about I would say twelve hours with different kind of builds and deck. But this is the most viable kind of play that you can do work with it. I using last gamble so that's why I call the dark world risk so let's move on to the description of the card so basically it's no of the dark world if this card was discarded to the graveyard I can add one uh, dark world cards from my deck to my hand then special summon any target that you know I pinpoint at the opponent graveyard if there's any in face uh, in defense face up position so the second effect uh, well you don't really see it often Lee it's always for the drawing mechanism so I pre of this because of the low attack power so honestly it's not really viable it's just 1700 so if you mix with Yami or that's a few spell for adding 500 attacks for Fian it's just take too too long to you know even sustain the game so I partner it with trench up field so basically this card allows you to discard one Fian type monster and if I do, I gain 500 attack. Well, I'm I, I'm not too much about the 500 attack. It's mostly about discarding. So I can use this as my discarding mechanism for the monster to discard uh, Snow and the other rest that I will introduce. So we have three of Ceruli of the Dark World. So basically, if this card is discarded by and is sent to a graveyard, I can special summon it in defense position in the opponent and wish on my turn, I'm his opponent he can force me to discard one card so basically i would like to discard this the overlock of the dark world because when this card was discarded by opponent uh, effect which is by Cyrilli, if you do it right you will see in the highlight how 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 well that i maneuver with it i can basically special summon it from my graveyard and i have two effect either destroy all monster my opponent control or destroy all spell and trap my opponent control so pretty OP with 2500 attack so this is more like towards a OTK deck uh, you just have to last till the last gamble and most likely you will get the win so it's about enduring and hoping that your opponent misplays somehow and I have two Kaki of the Dark World uh, maybe you can have one Technician and one Kaki because Kaki is basically when this card is discarded to the graveyard by card effect I can target one monster on the field destroy that target so I would say it's still pretty okay for technician of the dark world is basically destroy spell or trap card so vice versa so next we have dark world lightning a lot of people is very high of this card uh but please do take note that you have to target one set card on the field destroy the target then discard one card the condition is you have to destroy the target 
if that target is chainable and you can't dis discard one card you are basically not able to fulfill the dark world effect and this card is basically just let the opponent review what is the set card for you so the viability i would say 50 50 uh basically this deck is run by the cheerful coffin if you don't have two dark world lightning don't worry about it just get the the cheerful coffin three copies of it you'll be fine with this with this deck type so what does the cheerful coffin does is discard up to three monster card from your hand to the graveyard so basically this is the drawing power the discarding power you discard the uh dark world to the graveyard and you can do all the shenanigans next we have the forces of darkness i just plan to have one because i mean if you draw this one your first turn or second turn please kindly set it and you can just basically set all your monster to defense position just to hold on to last gamble and when when you need it for last gamble you can use forces of darkness to get two dark world monster to from the graveyard to your hand so the it is more i mean for recycling effect which is very vital for this deck build i have tried a lot of other deck build but to be honest this is the best i can find so I hope you guys enjoy this video, do drop a like and subscribe and follow me on my Facebook for more updates and outlooks. So, okay. This deck is, I would say, it's not very competitive, but it's kind of fun. I mean, if you get the uh, OTK right. But it's a very expensive kind of fun build, I would say. I really regret, you know. But well, it's for you guys. So on this hand, I start out with four monster. So because of one set monster, I can just destroy it with ease. So I target one set card, destroy the target, and I send a uh, snow the dark world, and I'm able to uh, mill up one card, which is very good. So I mill up snow the dark world. Just for more uh, shenanigans drawing effect. So he sat on his uh, turn, which, you know, he did the wrong thing. I let him attack. No biggie. I'm still trying to draw cards. And I last gamble. So I throw two cards to the graveyard. And I draw three cards. Pretty good. So I use Dark World Lightning to destroy. Never set your card or, you know, summon anything first. Just destroy them first so i use a uh, dark world to get out more monster use coffin discard three monster use the shenanigans there ducky the kaki destroy one face up monster that's his effect Sh uh serilu will just put to the opponent feel in defense position and allows me to discard one card which is the overlord and my overlord just will use his first effect destroy all monster my opponent control and he can do whatever he wants because it's a blank field and a knockout punch easy peasy easy money there but it's kind of expensive one so this is basically uh what i would think is the best way of playing this deck i know there's a few uh archetype there deck type like necro field but i don't know i'd rather just focus on dark world to be honest with you so Yami Bakura versus Joey Villa. I will be trying to come out a direct deck tomorrow, the dinosaurs, the new dinosaurs. So do stay tuned uh, for tomorrow video. I hope you guys like it. So he's not summoning anything. I just let it pass for my last gamble. So I just cut two card because I have set the forces of darkness. So. I can just throw out Cirilu, use uh, the Forces of Darkness to get it back. So I get more cards, Forces of Darkness, I got it back. So I'm gonna utilize my Dark World Lightning effect first. Why not? Just make use of it. So I have no cards. He definitely, I will destroy them. No doubt about it. Kaki allows me to destroy a monster. So that's how you do your destroying effect with a peace of mind. So the Cheerful Coffin now. This cut to Serilu and you know the shenanigan starts there. So to Serilu, just in defense position, allows me to discard two of my overlord of the Dark World and special summon them attack 
position and he just surrendered because on that turn I will basically destroy the monster and the back row and it's an easy open field. So this is the deck type that I believe is pretty fun to, to play with. As of now it's not easy in the PvP, there is just too much burn decks going on there so I'm having a tough time doing promotion there to Legend. I'm really quite disappointed with Konami for that so Legion of the Jester attack me. I just set two cards because I want to protect my life point so which I did because I have the forces of darkness I'm, I'm okay to just force up cards so four cards the last game is. so I use dark world lightning effect destroy the back row use snow the dark world mirror up my overlord and I just activate the force of darkness to get back more cards to my hand Then I will just use Coffin, the cheerful Coffin. This card, 3 cards, Kaki will destroy the front row. Snow will allow me to draw 1 card, Cerulean will special summon in defense to let me discard a card. Easy. This combo is so much easier and I hope that this video will allow you to understand the mechanism of Dark World. And if you like this, you may want to use, you know, invest on this deck on this box but to me so far I only enjoy playing volcanic deck I don't see any potential in the light swan deck or the crowdia deck or the gem knight deck unless you really like them in real life then maybe okay I misplay there I set this card if I put in attack I will definitely get an OTK I will not get a knockout punch so you know cause someone called me so I was like picking up the the car so I lost my concentration a bit but luckily it is not it does not distract me a bit and I still can go for the win easy money so the, the next two highlight is showing you guys uh, the life without last gamble how you can OTK your opponent without last gamble because it's it's real situation uh, it depends on your opponent gameplay and also your starting hand so if the table is on the right side you will win it without the last gamble so here i start with a very good hand trench up fear serially overlord so i know that the potential of winning before last gamble is there so mazola i will know his special summon my best animation let's just watch this if you watch my previous video the dark magician you know i like this animation so okay just let's take a look at dark magician so Dark Magician attack me, no no doubt about that, no back row, so change up field, discard Cerulean, special summon in defense position, discard my overlord, summon in attack position, clear the main field, easy peasy, easy money. So this is one way that you can win without last gamble if the table is set right for the knockout punch. So do, do pay attention to your opponent gameplay and your starting hand as well. It's, it does not mean that you are relying on last gamble. You need to use last gamble. It doesn't really mean that. This uh, replay also shows you that, you know, last gamble can, you know, can just stall for later and just win without it. So now it's pretty easy. I use Dark World Lightning because it's turn two. He has no sad card, so I go for the win straight away, the OTK. So Cerulean, defense position, special summon my overlord, destroy the monster, and special and summon my up fear and go for the knockout punch. Easy peasy like a cheesy hazy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do drop a like, subscribe for more, and have a good day. Good afternoon, good night, signing off, and peace.